I'm Dr. Natoli of Functional Spine and Sport, and this is our third treatment video on hip pain. The first two treatment videos you saw was on the adductor magnus, a muscle on the inner part of the thigh, and the hip capsule, which are the ligaments that surround the hip joint. Both of those commonly develop adhesion and are very often overlooked, so it's important to get those fixed if you like to run, squat, jump, or even if you enjoy walking and it's causing pain. This third uh, treatment video you're gonna see it for the hip flexors. Now we have a special measurement for that called the kneeling hip extension, and this allows us to demonstrate and see how well the hip flexors actually move uh, on the front side of the hip. And then we'll demonstrate the treatment to the psoas, which is one of two of the hip flexors that originate deep in the abdomen and attach to the spine and attach to the hip. So what you're seeing there is she's testing the mobility of the hip flexors. Uh, our clinical assistant's measuring from the front of the hip bone, the ASIS, uh, and using a ruler and a level to see exactly where the measurement is. 12 inches is a healthy range of motion for the hip flexors and what everybody should actually be able to do. Anything less than that needs to be treated. So we will show you the treatment. So we have our patient set up in the side-lying position. We're gonna palpate where the psoas is, and then our assistant is gonna move the leg once we get tension on the adhesion, and we can start to break that down. So right here, I'm palpating the psoas muscle. If I go a little bit medial to that, I'll feel the spine. If I come lateral to that, I roll off of that. So I have to be right on the muscle and right where the adhesion is. And then we apply tension and go ahead and do the motion. And as she moves the leg, I can feel deep, firm tension develop under the contact. So I know the adhesion's breaking down. And there's plenty in there to treat, which is a good sign because that means the measurement's gonna get better and the hip pain's gonna get better. This cannot be treated with the patient lying on their back, and this also cannot be treated with a kettlebell or a softball or any other than the nonsense you see online nowadays. So that's how, about how many passes there would be in a typical office visit. So what we're gonna do next after treating the adhesion in that muscle is retest the motion and see if that makes a good change. If it does, great, we're done for the day. A lot of good work has happened. If not, we gotta get away in there and chip away and treat more and more adhesion each visit. But typically that's gonna take a series of visits because most of the time when you're having that kind of pain, there's a lot more going on than just one treatment we'll take care of. So I'll go ahead and do the remeasurement. So assistant's remeasuring and Hannah goes into that range as far as she can. Good, and a very nice improvement from the first time. So that's fantastic to see. If that test is less than 12 inches, it has to be treated. So we hope you found all these treatment videos helpful. Those are the three most important structures that we treat in our office for hip pain. And again, these are commonly overlooked and they're usually loaded with adhesion, which is very bad. Those hip tests are just restricted and people have a lot of hip pain. So if those tests are limited and you've had hip pain, you've been trying other stuff and it's not working, you have to get this treatment. Thanks for watching.